Man, I've been having some weird dreams lately. You can't get the perfect night's sleep every night, but you can damn well try. In this video, we are going to give you seven quick tips you can use right now to improve your sleep. We are going to keep our tips today practical and brief. But should you be interested to know more, we don't shy away from going into far more detail in many of our other videos. Ready, set, let's go. Sleep is a complex subject and it's important not just for your overall health, but also for your progress with muscle building and fat loss. For example, when we did our belly proof body transformation, we made sure we were strict with our sleep because we know how important it is. Even so, sometimes you might still wake up in the middle of the night for no particular reason. Sometimes there's a drunk person singing in the street. <laughs> Other times your neighbors decide to vacuum or have <laughs> at five o'clock in the morning can't always control everything. I got woken up by Moby countless times because apparently 3 a.m. in the morning is exactly the right time to go out for a wee. What can you do? In a way, you can only do the best you can. And that's what this video is here to help you do. Okay, get your pajamas ready. We're gonna dive right in. We have seven tips for you today. And the first is all about caffeine. Of course, we can't talk about sleep without talking about caffeine. And who doesn't love a good cup of coffee? You have something called adenosine, which is known as sleep pressure. You start your day with low levels of adenosine. And as you go about your day, it builds up. When adenosine or sleep pressure is high, you start feeling tired. Caffeine is an adenosine receptor antagonist. It stimulates you and it doesn't allow your body to clear out built up adenosine or sleep pressure very effectively. This is why late coffee drinkers often find themselves in a vicious cycle of always feeling a little tired and in turn, always drinking a little more coffee to stay awake and focus. The tip here is really quite simple. Unless you are sensitive to it, in which case avoid it, caffeine is great for you. Really great but it's only good for you during periods of physical activity and also without the added milk and sugar. In terms of sleep, try not to have more than 400 milligrams of caffeine per day and aim to have your last caffeinated drink no later than 10 hours before you go to bed so that the caffeine has worked through your system before you hit the pillow. Our second tip is about alcohol. Alcohol is a sedative, so it can make you sleepy but it also can interrupt your deep sleep and your REM sleep. Many times people who drink too much before bed dream less through the night and more towards waking up as it delays REM sleep into the early hours of the morning. Man, I've been having some weird dreams lately. This is easy. You can enjoy a drink, but keep it light and in moderation. But make sure you give yourself enough time before bed so you don't spend the night processing alcohol instead of sleeping. More importantly, if you are drinking alcohol, make sure you can sleep more than five to six hours a night, ideally eight to nine hours on nights where you will be drinking. Our third tip is to set up your bedroom for a better night's sleep. Sure, a comfortable mattress and pillow makes all the difference in the world, but there's more to it. Your room should be as light free and as noise free as possible. It should be a very cold room and you should make any and every effort to reduce EMFs. We had all four issues to tackle. We had a noisy neighbor waking us up at really early hours in the morning with their car and also a really bright street lamp waking us up from over the road. The only way to mitigate both was to close our windows to block the noise and install blackout curtains to block out the light. It's just not likely you're going to get much deep sleep if you are exposed to lights and noises all the time. Both blackout blinds and closing your bedroom windows, they block air quality, which brings us to the next point, cold room. Your body needs to drop its core temperature to allow you to fall asleep 
and stay asleep. This is why it's such a struggle during the hot summer months to get a decent night's sleep because your body struggles to drop its core temperature as it should. We ended up installing an air conditioner which has made massive improvements to our sleep and Moby as he tends to overheat. Lastly, EMFs. The non-ionizing radiation you get from Wi-Fi routers, phones and the likes are disastrous for melatonin production and for mitochondrial health. Mitochondria as in the same place you oxidize fat. Not a popular subject many people want to hear about, but the research is there if anyone wants to look it up. It's not pretty. We did the obvious thing and took our phones out of the bedroom. And anyway, they're always on airplane mode, so we have little radiation coming our way. The problem we faced actually came out from the neighbors upstairs who happened to have their office and their Wi-Fi router right above us. We know most people are unaware of this issue as they can't feel it and happily sleep with their phone next to them. It's easy to ignore something you can't feel. But once you know what it does to you and your little ones, be it your kids or pets, you can't live with it so easily. So we do understand why a lot of people just don't want to know. So we ended up putting an EMF blocking wallpaper on the ceiling to block the neighbor's router. It worked and brought down levels to a steady 0.0006 milliwatts per meter square. Our fourth tip is to limit bright lights and blue lights before bed. Surely most of you by now have heard that blue light too close to bedtime can and will interfere with the circadian rhythm. Unfortunately, most people assume this means turning a blue light filter on your phone and surfing the World Wide Web from your bed. Blue light is the most direct way this works, but all strong, intense lights can have the same problem. Our recommendation is to switch off all screens, whether it's your iPad, your TV, your phone or your computer, and dim all ambient light about an hour before bed. We know it's a big ask, but it's better to do some of it and accept defeat than to do none of it in the first place. We made the effort to install dimmable lights in our space for nighttime, and even an ultra low light working on a proximity sensor for the bathroom. Because there's nothing worse than waking up in the middle of the night for a wee and being blinded by a massively bright light. The hour before bed, we spent mostly preparing. Anything from brushing our teeth to making sure our clothes were ready for the next day, and even some light stretching. Which brings us to the next tip. There's something great about doing some mobility work right before bed. First, your body seems more relaxed. And even if you go beyond passive flexibility and do some proper mobility stuff, it still won't feel much of an effort. Second, if you ever worked on proper motor control, like learning a new movement or stabilizing and balancing on one foot, you would know that it would introduce a lot of fatigue. A bit of passive stretching, mobility or stability work can really help you sleep like a log. We're now coming to our two final tips for good sleep. Tip number six would have to be to pay attention to what you eat. Everyone is different and some foods sit heavier with some people. We found if we had beef for dinner, a little was okay, but too much and we started to get night sweats. We even heard stories involving cheese and broccoli. Truth is, everyone's a little different and depending on how efficient your body is in digesting different foods that you may be used to, your experience might be a little different. The key is to pay attention to what you eat and understand whether it helps or hinders your sleep. Last but not least, tip number seven. Everyone nowadays has too much stress. Everyone is a workaholic. And even if you don't think about work, many people lie awake wondering and worrying about various things long into the night. You need to make a conscious decision to put your work to one side and not think about it, or anything else for that matter that gives you stress. Stress translates into beta brain waves associated with high alertness, but you want alpha, theta, then delta deep in your sleep. There are also some supplements that we love and can help. Stuff like GABA, GABA GABA GABA, where legal, can help reduce brain activity and help you sleep really tight. Or L-theanine, which is naturally found in tea, can help you switch off to alpha brain waves and help you really relax before bed. 
But either way, you have to try and stop thinking about anything that stresses you and let go for the night. You can worry about whatever it is in the morning. And if you worry a lot, constantly thinking, what if? It's also worth asking, what if everything turns out fine? And that's our seven quick tips you can apply right now for a better night's sleep. To recap, we suggest you do the following. Limit caffeine intake to 10 hours before sleep and up to and around 400 milligrams a day. Two, don't overdo the alcohol and don't consume too much of it too close to bedtime. Three, work on conditioning your bedroom. Make sure it's as noise and light free as possible and make sure to get some good ventilation, cool air running through. Also, don't sleep with your phone too near your bed, even if you do think it's safe. Four, leave me blue lights and all bright lights before bed and during the night. Five, stretch a little or practice some motor skills. There's no better time. Six, watch what you eat and take note on things that tend to affect your sleep. And lastly, seven, switch your mind off, either with supplements or without, but make a conscious effort not to be stressing or worrying about things just before you sleep. Let us know in the comments below which tip helped you the most and if you've got any other tips you want to share. And remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons, which will really help us out. And until next time, stay baby! Good night.